So to finish off the diagonal, we're going to do a kind of diagonal high and a diagonal low. So you get this kind of C shape, which is very commonly used in stick fighting, where Tommy blocks the headshot and then I'm going to the knee. So it's this hit high, hit low. Maybe he snaps his head away from this high one, so then I, I take the knee shot as I go. So it's high, low, high, low, which is kind of basic single stick attacking. You can do the same with the hammers. Tommy's going to give me the jab. Now he's going to hammer high, step with his right, and then hammer low. Now that's a great groin shot. That's designed to just go straight from the head with the right hand, straight to the groin as you move to the right so you're out of the person's way. Jab, diagonal high, diagonal low. So I hold the pad neck height and groin height. You notice how Tommy is angling off to the side as he lands that second hammer so he's no longer in front of me. Jab, one, two, he's gone. So get your um, members and students working that first. Now we're just going to add in a little bit of defensive work, so as he's finished that second hammer, I'm going to hook him in the head, he's going to use the elbow spear that we covered previously to enter in on me, so he goes jab, right, so I hook him in the head, and he takes a little shuffle forward, right elbow goes in as he covers this head, bang, so he's smashing me in the chest, the pec, the shoulder with that elbow, again jab, diagonal high, diagonal low, cover the head, Elbow spear. I'm getting my head out of the way, I'm throwing a hook and I'm putting this pad here so he can drive that elbow spear in. That has a couple of effects, either they kind of move away or they try and clinch. If they move away, we're going to follow with two diagonal hammers to finish this particular sequence. So we're, we're focusing on diagonal high, diagonal low, and then we're going to finish with two diagonal X hammers up high. Jab, hammer high, hammer low, crush, I move away. I was thinking the pads left. Sloppiness for Mint Master going this side. <laughs> so I need the pads for the X hammer at the end. So start on your stance, make sure your groin is protected, make sure your head is protected, your elbows are down, you can do work for your destructions. Tommy gives me the jab, he hammers high, he hammers low. I hook him in the head, he steps in, I step away, and then he follows up with those two diagonal hands to finish. So that's just teaching the high-low hammer, but also integrating the two X hammers we worked previously.